Usher's life has had a series of downs, including a divorce from Tamika Foster, his stepson's death and a long custody battle, which he eventually won. Happenings in every celebrity's relationship are often plastered on the tabloids, from their sweetest moments down to the nastiest breakups. It is no longer a surprise that fans are updated with relationship timelines, some even more than others. When Usher divorced his wife, Tamika Foster Raymond, everyone knew and stayed up to date with their long and messy custody battle. Here's a glimpse of their relationship and Usher's struggles during the legal process. Usher and Tamika were madly in love in the days leading up to their 2007 wedding. However, not everyone believed in their relationship, including the R&B artist's mother, who did not attend the ceremony. As a son, Usher was deeply hurt that the woman who raised him did not give her blessing to what was supposed to be a lifetime commitment. He eventually cancelled their initial extravagant wedding and got married later that year. The couple tied the knot at the luxurious Chateau Hélène Winery and Resort, Atlanta, in a private ceremony catered to their 200 guests, including Gail King and Benny Medina. Sadly, Usher and Tamika's union was short-lived and ended two years later. Months before their divorce, the former husband and wife no longer lived in the same home. Still, Usher immediately cancelled his pre-Grammy gala performance as soon as he learned of Tamika's cardiac arrest before she underwent plastic surgery in Brazil. Despite their divorce, the Yeah artist never spoke ill of his ex-wife, but questioned why she turned their friendship sour with a nasty custody battle. The former couple's marriage produced two children, Usher Raymond V and Navid Eli Raymond. Complicating their divorce was a custody battle. At the time of the legal suit, their two sons were still toddlers. On his birthday last year, the mom of three even greeted her ex. In the middle of their dispute, the singer's former stepson, Tamika's son from a previous relationship, Carl Glover, 11, tragically died after a jet ski hit him. Devastated, Usher asked both the court and Tamika to put the custody battle on pause as he grieved for Kyle. A month later, the court hearings resumed and the two were at it again. Usher claimed his ex-wife meddled with his time with the children when they had joint custody. His lawyer added that Tamika was incapable of being a proper parent. Meanwhile, Tamika cited that their older son nearly died after a falling and getting stuck in a pool drain under Usher's aunt's watch. A housekeeper immediately tried to get him before a contractor stepped in to save the boy and performed CPR. The former lover's long and bitter custody battle ended with Usher winning custody of his children. However, he gave Tamika a comforting hug in court as she tearfully accepted the ruling. The singer's sons, Usher V and Navid, are now all grown up under their father's care and recently recreated a throwback photo from when they were little boys on TikTok. Although they sometimes appear on the eight-time Grammy award-winning artist's social media, Usher generally likes to keep his family out of the limelight, especially after his highly publicised divorce. The former couple has also moved on from their messy lives and have entered a new chapter. The singer-songwriter is currently expecting another child with his girlfriend, Jen Gokuricia, who was first romantically linked to him in 2019. Tamika is also happily focusing on raising her kids. Earlier this year, she shared Navid's achievement on Instagram after he won a poetry contest. The young boy smiled alongside his mum and trophy in her sweet post. The proud mum also shared that her son met his real-life crush, Billy Eilish, the same day, although she did not disclose the details of their encounter with the award-winning artist. What was once a bitter relationship but turned a civil and sweet for Usher and Tamika, on his birthday last year, the mom of three even greeted her ex in a post that read, Many don't realise that it's always love, even when it looks like hate.